and today I'm going to be making an orzo dish uh, so I am going to be making halloumi and butternut orzo bake so fingers crossed this is good I'm always looking for different things to do with orzo so I only discovered it really a couple of years ago so um, so yeah well let's get on and see what we do Okay, so the first thing we need is a roasting tin. Now, mine's fairly small. I'm only doing half the recipe, but I'm going to tell you how to do the whole recipe for four people, so you'd want a bigger tin than this. And um, First of all, we're going to add 500 grams of frozen butternut squash. I love keeping this stuff in the freezer. Right, and then to that, we're going to add one red onion, which has been cut into wedges. And three cloves of garlic, which have been crushed. And then we're going to drizzle over two teaspoons of olive oil. And also one teaspoon of paprika. Season with some salt and pepper. And then give everything a good mix. try and get that garlic separated in there because I don't want it to burn okay there we go so this is going to go in the oven at 200 degrees for 30 minutes Okay, so it's been roasting for half an hour. There we go, smelling great already. Okay, so now we're going to add all the other ingredients. So we have got 300 grams of orzo. And to that we're going to add 700 mils of vegetable stock. and 250 grams of cherry tomatoes now it doesn't say to cut them but i'm not that keen on them so you get less of a mouthful so there we go and also two tablespoons of pesto now as do actually do a low fat version so that's what I've got on there, just to, to try and cut a few calories. And then we're going to mix all of this together. Want to get all of that orzo covered. And then we're going to take a 225 gram block of a halloumi and cut it into two centimetre squares. Again, I've gone with the, the low fat version. And you just want to place the cubes in around everywhere.
Okay, there we go. So, now it says to go back in the oven for 15 to 25 minutes. So, there's a big gap in there. So, I'm going to have a look after 15 minutes and, and see what's what. Okay, so it's been in for 15 minutes, so we're just going to check the pasta, see if it's cooked. Okay, the pasta's cooked, so it is ready. So I'm going to dish this up and we'll give it a try. Let's give this a try. Mm. I've got a bit of the butternut squash, a bit of the halloumi, and some of the uh, pasta. Yeah, mm, that's really nice. So. I don't know if the tomato will go with it, whether I like the tomato with it or not, but I'll give it a go, but that is definitely good. So, so yeah, that's it for me. So keep experimenting, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye.